Hello everyone. This week we are going to learn new spelling vocabulary words. Okay, let's start reading it, children. Okay. We have the word here, ago. Agree. Come. Enough. Every. Look up. Meantime, people, power, promise, stop, suddenly, things, and until. Okay, let's read it again. We have the word ago, agree, come, enough. Every, look up, meantime, people, power, promise, stop, suddenly, things, and until. Okay, let's proceed to its meaning. Okay, here are the following vocabulary words. So, we have the word, ago. What do you mean by the word ago? Okay, ago here is an adjective. Okay, let me see. Ago here is an adverb, I'm sorry. Okay, it means before the present or earlier. Okay, let me give you an example. Okay, he went five minutes ago. So, ago here is used with a measurement of time. So, right here, the adverb ago refers to a time before the present moment. Sometimes in a distant past and sometimes more recently. When you talk about the more remote past, you might say long ago or a long time ago. Okay, next word. We have the word agree. Agree is a verb. It implies completely, accord, usually attained by discussion and adjustment of differences okay let me see like when <clears throat> uh, you are discussing something and both parties agrees okay both parties agree to follow what is being discussed at that day okay so there goes the word agree okay next we have the word come come means come is a verb means move or travel towards or into a place thought of as near or familiar to the speaker okay come here means like approach for example he promised to come but he didn't come and there is another word come like please come to see me from time to time here, come can be a preposition also when a specified time is rich or event happens. Like, for example, I don't think that they will be far away from honors come to the new season. Okay, so there goes the word come okay next 
we have the word enough. Enough here is an adverb. Okay, it is an adverb. Means occurring in such quantity, quality, or scope as to fully meet demands, needs, or expectations. Okay, what do we mean by that? For example, there's too much work and not enough to do it. You need to get enough of the right things to eat. At that time, he wasn't old enough to bowl. So right here, we use the word enough. So right here, it occurs the quantity, the quality or scope as to fully meet demands, needs, or expectations. So, next, let's proceed. Okay, here we have the word every. Every. Every here is a determiner. I will explain to you later what they mean by that. It is used before an amount to indicate how often something up happens okay something happens what do we mean by that means here a modifying word that determines the kind of reference a noun or a noun group has for example we have the word every okay let's use it as an example i go to school every day i check my mail every single day or i hear the sound of the words every minute or we have bus comes every 30 minutes so right here the determiner the uh, determiner okay every used before an amount so we have the amounts of every in here indicating how often something happens like every day every single day every minute every 30 minutes okay or every minute okay so this is the word every every okay next we have the word look up okay look up here is actually a phrasal verb of look means to seek out okay uh if you can still remember uh, the lost stars okay right there people forgot or forget to stop and look up means they stop looking up the sky okay right into our story we use the word look up okay so next word we have the word meantime Meantime in here is an adverb, means the time before something happens or before a specified period ends. Okay, next let's proceed to our remaining words. Okay, right here in front of you, we have the word people. So, people here, of course, you do know it, is a noun, okay? Noun means human beings in general. So, you could see here the people, okay? The picture of the people. Of course, it is referring to us, us as human beings. Next, we have the word 
power. Power here is a verb. Means, of course, I am referring to the power from our story, The Lost Stars. Okay? Means, it, it, it is a verb, means supply a device with mechanical or electrical energy okay you remember when when the, the the stars they go fed up and they went down from the sky okay of course and why because of the people stop looking up okay so they left the sky and then suddenly when they left the sky the power went off okay so that's why i use the word power here in our spelling from our story the lost stars okay let's proceed okay we have the word promise promise is a verb means assure someone that one will definitely do something or that something will happen sometimes when people promise yes i promise you i'll come tomorrow okay means that he or she assuring someone that he's gonna come tomorrow okay next we have the word stop stop here is a verb it applies to action or progress or to what is operating or progressing and may imply suddenness or definiteness okay next we have the word suddenly suddenly is an adverb means quickly and unexpectedly for example okay oh suddenly i'm not expecting that my friend is gonna come suddenly i'm not expecting my friend is going to come tomorrow so here unexpected things is gonna happen tomorrow so she is not expecting that her friend is going to come tomorrow okay next let's proceed to our last two words we have here the word things what do you mean by things things are nouns okay it is a noun thing and things in plural form okay what do you mean by things those are object objects that one need not or cannot or does not wish to give a specific name to like in this picture we have different objects we have different objects okay we have here the house is an object computer is an object we have pencils crayons pencil case books scissors bags glue lunch okay crayons okay we have ruler okay those are the things or the objects that one need not or cannot or doesn't does not wish to give a specific name okay so we have here the word until until here is a noun means up to the point in time or the event mentioned okay until here can be preposition or conjunction in here uh, it's actually here we are going to change it actually sorry about that 
so until here is actually a conjunction or it can be a preposition means up to the point in time or the event mentioned okay children did you get it okay that's it then take care stay safe thank you and goodbye